Hi everyone! Welcome to our learning activity video for Senior High School Statistics and Probability, Quarter 1, Week 1, A. For the objective, the learner illustrates a random variable and distinguish between discrete and continuous random variables. Let's start with exercise number 1. Study the given table below about the population of the Philippines in the year 2000, 2010, and 2015 and answer the questions that follow in your answer sheet. Here is the table. This is the Philippine population. These are the years. So let me have here say total population of the Philippines in the year 2000. We have 76 million 506,928. The total population of the Philippines in 2010 is 92,337,852. And in 2015, the total population is 100,981,437. This is how we read it. And also, we have household population. We have here the given data in the years 2000, 2010, and 2015. Also, institutional population, we have for the past years here. Then, we have the average household size. In the year 2000, we have 5.0. In the year 2010, we have 4.6. And in 2015, we have 4.4. Annual growth rate. In the year 2000, we have 2.3. In 2010, we have 1.9. And in 2015, we have 1.7. Now, we have to answer the following questions. For question number one, what are the variables given in the table? And for question number two, which of the variables are discrete variables? And question number three, which of the variables are discrete? continuous variables so we have the table let's have the solution for number one what are the variables given in the table this one these are the five variables given in the table so we have the total population that is one of the variables the household population the institutional population the average household size and the annual growth rate these are variables among these five variables, we have to classify which among them are discrete variables. That's question number two. And which among these five variables are continuous variables. For number two, the discrete variables are, how do we know that it is a discrete? A discrete variable when the elements in that particular variables can be counted as whole numbers, meaning 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. There is no decimal point, there is no fraction part. So in this case, number 2, we have the variables are the total population, the household population, and the institutional population. You will notice here that there is no decimal point. These are all count numbers and actually whole numbers so these are discrete variables for number three the continuous variables are well among these five whichever is not in the number two then it's the answer for number three so we have continuous variables average household size and the annual growth rate so, these are the variables, continuous and discrete variables. I hope you understood how to know the discrete and continuous variables. Moving on to exercise number two, you have to tell whether each variable is discrete or continuous. For number one, time required for a vehicle to cover 20 kilometers. It's the time. It's about the variable time. So if we're talking about time, we can have fraction. We can have 15 minutes and that is one-fourth of an hour. 
So, we have a continuous variable. A continuous variable is a measure, or I mean, we use units of measure to quantify a certain variable. For number two, number of airplanes in an airport. There is no 2.5 airplanes in an airport. You cannot do that. So it is a discrete variable. It could be 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Point number 3, population of ants in a colony. So we can count the population of ants using whole numbers and counting numbers. So it's a discrete variable. For number 4, volume of water. Say 1 liter of water, then 500 ml of water. If it is a 500 ml of water, that is 1 half liter or 0.5 liters and so on. So we have a continuous variable. For number 5, number of children in a family. So it's discrete. It could be 0, 1, 2, and so on. For number 6, test scores of students randomly selected. Say in a 50-item test, what is your score? Say 37, 42, 38, 0, 1, 10, and so on. So there is no decimal or fraction part. So we have a discrete variable. Number 7, weight of statistics book. I mean, let me repeat. Weight of statistics and probability book. It's weight. How do we measure weight? We can measure weight in kilograms or in grams. So we use unit of measurement to quantify a certain variable. So that is a continuous variable. Number eight, the number of times a club will appear when drawing a standard deck of cards. So it is one of the suits. No, club is one of the suits. Other suits are heart, club, then we have a spade. Okay. So a number of times. So we have discrete. We can count the number of times using counting numbers and whole numbers. For number nine, area of a rice field. How do we measure area of a certain rice field? It could be in square meters, in square kilometers, or hectare. So we use unit of measure. Therefore, it is a continuous variable. For number 10, number of doubles in a roll of two dice. Say you roll the first die, then say it comes up with number 1. And the second die, you roll it, it's another one. So 1, 1. 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. So number of doubles. There are 6 number of doubles. Possible number of doubles. So that means we can count it. So it's a discrete variable. For the enrichment activity, we have the directions. Tell whether each variable is discrete or continuous. And we have to explain why. For number one, the number of boys in a randomly selected three-child family. Well, it could be zero boys, one boy, two boys, all boys, three boys. So it is, or it uses a counting number and whole number. So it is a discrete random variable. Why? The number of boys can only be, as I mentioned earlier, and these are whole numbers. It's discrete. That is the reason. For number two, the temperature of a cup of coffee served at a restaurant. Temperature. So when we are talking about temperature, we can use thermometer. So we have a unit of measurement, so that is continuous. And reason is temperature as a variable can be expressed as fractions or decimals. Hence, continuous. For number three, the number of vehicles owned by a randomly selected family. Could be zero and all and counting numbers so it's discrete we cannot say there are 4.5 cars a certain family owned okay we cannot say that so the number of vehicles can only ex be expressed as whole numbers hence discrete number four 
the number of patrons arriving at a restaurant between 6 to 7 p.m. When you say patrons or sponsors or those are the customers, consistent or permanent customers. So discrete, we can count them. The number of patrons can be identified using whole numbers and discrete. Or number five, the air pressure of a tire of an automobile. Air pressure, we can measure air pressure using a certain instrument. So it's a continuous random variable. And at the same time, the air pressure of a tire can only be expressed as a fraction or decimal, hence continuous. So long for this learning activity video and see you on the next video. If you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, kindly subscribe and please don't forget to like and share. And if you are a subscriber, you will be updated with more uploads for this learning activity videos. Thank you and always stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye!